Hello stormwater designers, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions instructional videos. In this video it's another hydrology education video. More specifically we're going over some FE exam review. Some of the hydrology and water resources uh, practice. This is going to be our first practice problem. Um, it's going to be on the NRCS rainfall runoff formula. This is a great FE practice problem for you and let's just dive right in. Real quick, Clear Creek Solutions does stormwater analysis and facility modeling, as well as some software development and uh, hydrology education, such as these videos. You can check us out at clearcreeksolutions.com. All right, let's get into this. So here's the practice problem. Find the runoff in inches of a site with four inches of precipitation with fair pasture A soil. So this is a very typical FE style practice problem. We got the A, B, C, and D, 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 2, and 0.1. So what's the approach here to solving this problem? Well, with any FE practice problem, we want to refer to the FE reference manual since that's what you're going to have on hand while you're taking the test. And uh, the hydrology and water resources section, it's no different than the rest of the test. We want to refer to that and use that information to help us solve the problem. So what are we given on this problem? We're given P, the precipitation, as well as that soil type. What do we need to find? Well, based on the equations that we know, that uh, I'll, I'll flip to in the next slide, we need to find the curve number S and Q. So it's always good to, at the beginning of every problem to identify what do we have, what is the problem given us, and then what do we need to find to help solve this problem. So here's the little snippet here from the FE reference manual for the hydrology water resources section for a NRCS rainfall runoff. So what are we looking for in this problem? We're trying to find the runoff in inches of a site well, Q equals runoff in inches, so we're trying to solve for Q. So we have precipitation, so P minus 0.2S, that whole term is squared over P plus 0.8S, right? But we don't have S, which is the maximum basin retention in inches. In order to find S, we gotta find the curve number. We do have the soil type, but we do not have the curve number. So we have to use the second equation to find S, then plug that into the first equation, and we got to find the curve number from a table. And this is pretty common on the FE exam. They might give you some values. But then on, the, on that same problem, they might give you a small table. They might have you look up something. It's not going to take too long since it's the FE exam. But uh, using the information, we're going to find our curve number. So let's go to the beginning of the problem here. Um, fair pasture A soil. That's what the, the kind of soil that they gave us. By looking at this table for the SCS rain, rainfall method here, Pasture, okay, cover type pasture, uh, fair, so 50 to 75% ground, ground cover, and then A. So it looks like our curve number is going to be 49 for this problem. So curve number is 49. We're going to find S, which equals 10.4. That was the maximum basin retention. And then if we plug that into the Q equation and we do a little bit of math, we get 0.3 inches of runoff. So the answer to this question would be B, 0.3. And let's go over the process again real quick. This is really important when it comes to the FE exam. Okay, find out, read the full problem, find out what is given, go to the reference manual to find the equations that you need to solve this problem. We determined we need that second equation to find S to then find Q. We didn't have the curve number, so we used the table provided. We found the curve number. We plug that into the second equation, and now that we had S, and knowing that our units were correct, we plug that in to find 0.3 inches of runoff. So the answer is B. Now here's the good news. The FE exam, it can be tough to prepare for it, but we have a free gift for you. If you click the link down below, you can download the FE exam water resources guide. It walks you through everything you need to know in the water resources and hydrology category. Um, you know, to do well on the FE exam, that is a free guide. Click the link down below to download it and it'll hopefully help you on your journey to studying and passing the FE exam. Uh, this is Clear Creek Solutions and thank you guys for watching this video.